That round. Yeah, he went to raise his gloves after that round. Probably did enough, as Colin said, to, to win it. Has he done enough over the course of the evening, though? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I've given Prescott two, maybe three rounds out of the whole fight so far. So have I. But, unfortunately, we aren't the judges. We're not the judges. I'll tell you what, though, if he, if he wins this next round, and the 12th as well, it's going to put him close, isn't it? Who? Mitchell Pre Prescott. Oh, Prescott. Closer. Closer, yep. And some of those early rounds may have been difficult to score. Yeah, it depends what the judges like. You know, if he's a press got coming forward, swinging and trying and, 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 and making the fight, but what was anything landing? What is the judges going to see? Yeah, well, these aren't American judges. Yeah. They're British judges. Americans, they go big on uh, aggression. Aggression, yeah. So here we go. Down the stretch here. Championship rounds, 11 and 12 coming up. Kevin Mitchell, he's got has six. Prescott, has he ever been 12 rounds? He hasn't, has he? No, he's been 10 before. Yeah, he's never been 12, has he? No. Nope. So territory. he's in he's in new territory. Now what? Paris has stopped it again. What's that for? Some some debris in the ring he didn't like. I know I noticed earlier there was a badge on uh, Prescott's shorts that was coming loose. Oh really? I don't know if it's that one of these um WBO badge or something. Or maybe his uh, maybe a Colombian flag as he's got Mitchell trapped in a Prescott's corner. It's just on a knife edge, isn't it? We keep saying it's so tense. Mitchell just keep concentrating. Oh, we're stopping again here now. Something in the ring again. Up to ice. Ice. Or? I think they put ice down Prescott's shorts. I think it's falling out. <laughs> I hope that's all it is. Trying to keep him chilled. certainly wake you up, wouldn't it? <laughs> a bucket of ice down the shorts. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to get him wild. Might need to pull out a stoppage here. Broder's press got something special. The punches have got rid of Amir Khan. Oh, left hook from Prescott. It's every time Mitchell takes a risk. Prescott's there looking to take advantage as he boxers faint not, in the neutral corner Prescott I mean he, he's just made to he's miss not again. moving like he was Mitchell is he well the problem is that he lands a punch and then he sort of takes a risk or two doesn't he and to land a punch he's got to get into to firing range for, for Prescott and that's when Prescott can have some success when Mitchell's on his bike Prescott cannot land and that's what he needs to do get his jab and move jab and move we win the last couple of rounds just with his jab Oh, lovely, lovely, right lovely right hand from Good Mitchell. That was right hand. So well timed as well, just as Prescott was making his way in. He you, saw a, a you, know, you know better than us, uh, Ryan. It looks easy from here, doesn't it? It does. Jab and move, jab and move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. When you're in there, it's a completely different ball game. Mitchell, he's really kept his head though, hasn't he? Very much so. And you can see the, uh, the concentration on his face. A very mature performance coming of age performance I think yeah I think a lot of that's got to do with Jimmy Tibbs as well because he's a very very good trainer he's been around years been with all the top fighters so good experience with Jimmy Tibbs it's reminiscent almost of uh, Khan against Katelnik earlier this year isn't it in that Khan had to I think defensively that night I'll get carried away just take his time and he, he managed to do that Mitchell's done the same here there's 15 seconds left of this the 11th round the checkered flag is almost in sight for Kevin Mitchell. This is going to go to the cards, I think. Unless Prescott pulls out something special. I hope so, because I can't see Mitchell knocking him out. No. I think that's also one drawback we've seen. He's now boxing at lightweight. And uh, I don't think Mitchell can hurt lightweights like he could hurt super featherweights. Don't what seem we've to seen have, tonight. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have carried the power up to lightweight. No, no, no. maybe um, it's because of the size of Prescott. That may have something to do with it. Yeah. He's punching up. He doesn't look. Uh, he doesn't look that big at the weight either, does he, uh, Mitchell? Well, no. He's a, you know, he's a, he's a short, short guy, isn't he? He's not tall. Yeah, I think he's stocky. I think of some of these uh, big lightweights. Khan was uh, was much bigger, for example, wasn't he? When he was down at lightweight. Yeah, taller and wider. Taller and wider. John Murray's a, a big lad as well. The uh, 
So the British champion just about to challenge for the European title. John Ball Thanks done two. Right, this is it. Twelfth and last round. Second half, twelfth and final round. Well, both boxers raise their hands and hug. And embrace. Yeah, a little kiss from, uh, kiss from Mitchell as well for uh, Bradis Prescott. Mind you, when they embrace the closest they've been all night. Sure is. We think Kevin Mitchell's three minutes away from a fairly stunning victory here in Newcastle. Kevin I just needs to keep boxing. He doesn't need to get involved at all. Now, Prescott's reaction suggests he's been told you've got to knock him out. Yeah. Absolutely. And you don't, you don't want Mitchell to take any risk because you can see that he might want to please the crowd because he's a, a crowd pleaser and a sort of very macho kind of fighter. I want to show everyone that his chin's made of good stuff. There's a time and a place for that, you, maybe you, not now. As I say, you, if it's not over until the fat lazy sings, as they say. You remember Carl Frotch and Jermaine Taylor? Absolutely. When Ty Taylor was way ahead on points, and then with 14 seconds to go, bingo. Well, you were telling me about uh, Meldrick Taylor and, and Chavez, Chavez three earlier tonight. Three, three seconds, seconds to go. So anything can happen. Mitchell just has to keep concentrating here. He can afford to lose this round and still win the fight well, we, for me. Yeah, we, we think he can for the work that he did early on and especially in the middle rounds as well when he was so good. He Prescott up in the seventh, I think, seventh or eighth. Do you know what? Prescott aimed two shots in. They were what I call tired punches. Punch really tired, weren't they? He was almost falling yeah, into them. Exactly. Falling no, forward with a... No power behind them whatsoever. A left and a right as Mitchell ties him up. Oh, good shot from Mitchell, right hand. Going out in style here. Mitchell finishing the fight well. He's just stuck and moved here, Mitchell. Last Mi minute, Mi Mi Mitchell just needs to box his way. Brilliant head movement in the corner. Prescott trying to trying to pressure him and, and he's chucking everything. Yeah, Mitchell defensively good from start to finish. He's ending this fight as he began it. And a chance of easy, easy go up from the crowd. He's boxing a long way from home tonight, Kevin Mitchell. Not as far, of course, as uh, Raiders Prescott. This Newcastle crowd appreciating this fight. As we said, not the most exciting, not a shootout. But it's been compelling now. Mitchell with a little Ali shuffle, the crowd like that. Throws out the jab. takes a right <laughs> every time every time you just seem to shiver Ryan Rose just shakes his head ringside he can't quite believe it 10, ten seconds, seconds left to go. come on and Kevin come Mitchell's on Kevin grab him Can just hold him here? for 10 seconds turn him leave him in the corner fantastic Mitchell finishes the fight with a good combination fantastic both boxes right. exactly hugging the ring Prescott doing. thinks he's got it no, what do we he, think? Prescott just puts his arms up I don't say he thinks he's got it He's doing, going through the motions. I think Mitchell thinks he's got it. I think Mitchell probably has got it. Mark Tibbs, listen. In the air. Mark Tibbs from, is uh, delighted with that performance. And Prescott's corner man went over and patted Mitchell on the head. I think as if to say, yeah, we know you won it, pal. Promoter Frank Warren looks very happy as well. Jimmy Tibbs is happy. The crowd are happy. Tell you what, that's Everybody's happy except Prescott. Some performance though from Kevin Mitchell if he does get this decision. Prescott was dangerous throughout the fight, wasn't he? Especially a, in the opening rounds. A, an extremely interesting fight. And as I say. Well, I've seen a lot of Kevin Mitchell's fights over the last few years, and I think he's just brought something else to his game. He's proved he can control his anger you know, and box and do what he has to do to win a fight. And that's exactly what he's done tonight. Fair play to Kevin. Well done, mate. Well, we haven't had the result yet. I've, uh, I've, I've seen so many astonishing verdicts, but I'm sure this one can't be anything other than a Mitchell victory. Well, it would be a big shot, wouldn't it, with a home crowd, three British judges. I know the, I don't want to put a slur on the judges, but it would be a big shock if uh, Raiders Prescott did get this decision. It's come through relatively quickly, always a good sign. And I think 
MC Mark Burley's just switching on his microphone. We're not far away from this. Frank Warren uh, comes over and gives Colin Hart the thumbs up. He says Kevin Mitchell used his, uh, used his brain. Now here's the result. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for two boxers who gave everything. After 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecard. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Terry O'Connor, 119-110. Judge Victor Lachlan, 118-111. Judge Howard Foster, 117 one, one, one. The winner and the new WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion in the blue corner. Well, our scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ryan have been vindicated. One of the judges only gave, uh, only made Mitchell lose one round. One of the, the other one two. We made him. I made him lose two rounds. It was. It turned out to be easy for Mitchell because he used his head, used his brains, and curbed his natural uh, instincts to have a fight.